like to talk a little bit about uh, one of our newest product offerings, which is uh, our board safe adaptive kayak launch in a box. And uh, I know that might sound a little bit corny, but let me explain to you what that means and uh, how it could be of, of great value to you and your community. Uh, we get asked a lot about uh, the installation and part of that installation is the uh, concrete bulkhead, which you uh, see here in the in the video. And what we're able to offer now to you is providing the foundation as part of the system as a whole. So not only do you get all of the other components that are standard with a board safe adaptive kayak launch, uh, like you see here, which in this uh, particular project, which is in uh, Oneida, Wisconsin, uh, you would get the bulkhead mounting kit, which is attached to the concrete. Uh, you get a um, gangway, which in this case, because we're under a we're a, under a 120 pitch, we didn't need to put railing on it. Uh, you get a floating dock which this is an eight foot by 16 foot floating dock and you can notice the toe kick uh, around the perimeter and also uh, just backing up a little bit the perimeter of the gangway um, also has a toe kick to ensure that anyone who is disabled in a wheelchair uh, that their chair is not going to go off the edge um, and then the kayak launch itself, um, this is a 16 uh, dual, meaning that the kayak can come in from either side. You can see how the uh, boards are tapered on both ends of the kayak launch. And in the center, the boards are actually level so that when the kayak is put in place that uh, you're able to be level, uh, stable, and someone's able to board the kayak without any issues. Um, we also have the boarding bench, uh, which is has step downs, different levels. Uh, the upper level uh, is in line with a wheelchair, so someone in a wheelchair can make their way over onto that. And then we have the drop downs, and then out at the end we have our pull out seat, which uh, goes across the uh, opening where the cockpit on a kayak or a canoe would be. And we also have one of the unique features to our system is the roll cage we call it and the roll cage uh, encompasses the overhead grab bar which is centered on the kayak launch and centered over the bench and what it does is it provides someone the ability to grab onto that as they make their way down uh, once they get to the cockpit area uh, they're able to either continue using the bar and then we also have four straps that have four loops in it uh, as hand grabs. So depending on the person's ability, their size, uh, whatever, we give a lot of different options as far as being able to um, make their way in and out of, uh, out of their kayak. Uh, one of the other things that we provide is an instructional sign. And the instructional sign has uh, six steps on uh, using the kayak launch. Uh, but one of the really nice features also is uh, down in the uh, left-hand corner of the sign, there's a QR code. And the QR code, uh, when you scan it, it'll take you to a video uh, which shows Ken Rhino, who is a C5, C6, incomplete quadriplegic, um, using the uh, board safe adaptive kayak launch uh, to board and to then disembark his vessel. So it's a great informative uh, video for anyone who's not familiar with, with using the board safe adaptive kayak launch. Um, but again, getting back to 
the kayak launch in a box uh, concept is again, we get asked a lot about the foundation aspect and there's, you know, naturally cost involved with that. Uh, there's excavating, uh, if a customer is going to do it on site, if they don't have uh, a concrete bulkhead already. Um, so it really led us to, um, coming up with an option where we can provide the concrete as part of the system as a whole. And we can engineer, depending on what area you're at, we can provide that concrete foundation in various sizes to accommodate whatever loads you have. Like, for example, if your gangway uh, is 40 feet long, uh, you might have a much larger load just because of the uh, the the what we call the leverage load that's put on the gangway. Don't want to get too technical, but uh, it's a consideration that you know, the longer the gangway is, the more force you're putting on that concrete. So we have the ability to to provide that concrete um, rather than you having to excavate, form, pour the concrete, um, attach the angle. And that's one of the nice things about this option also is our bulkhead mounting angle, which you see bolted to the concrete. That is done at our factory. And so when the concrete block comes out to you, uh, that part of the job is already completed. So it's one less step that you need to um, uh, take care of in the field. Now, this particular application uh, was was done on the September 9th of 2021. And the entire process, which included the excavation, setting the concrete block, putting the gangway in, putting the floating dock in, the kayak launch, the bench, the overhead grab bar, and all the other accessories only took three hours. And that was for uh, two men, three hours. And also uh, what was required was uh, a telehandler. We re require, or recommend, I should say, a 6,000 pound uh, telehandler for the installation as well. Uh, it's it's really important to be able to have that reach. And then with the concrete block, this particular concrete block has a dimension of two and a half feet by two and a half feet by five feet long and uh, has a weight of approximately 4,500 pounds. So the 6,000 pound machine is really critical in being able to set, set that concrete block as well. Um, you know, and as I said, there might be different options as far as uh, your particular project that you can contact uh, us and we can help size the concrete. Uh, we have our structural engineers who have come up with different tables that dictate what size foundation you might need, uh, depending on what geographical area you're at. Uh, a lot of considerations, but this uh, being option of being able to provide the foundation should uh, you should realize the savings of you know it could be thousands of dollars over having to do this on site. Um, plus, it speeds things up. Uh, if your community that is looking to try to do this on your own um, with volunteers and don't have the resources to be able to pour concrete or do that part of the project. Uh, this could be, you know, an advantage to you as well. So uh, we uh, thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. And if you have any questions, uh, if you would just uh, contact us either through our website or at 610-899-0286. Thank you very much and have a great day.